Okay, we're going to be looking at a DC motor. I'm trying to answer this question, explaining why it's able to spin constantly. So the first um, thing we want to talk about is why is it moving at all? Okay, so we're going to talk about the interaction between the coil and the magnet. So our first key point is going to be that interaction. Okay, um, when we're looking at that, I'm going to bring this up into here, you can think about the jumping wire and why this moves. Um, so, first thing we know about, we know we've got a magnetic field going from north to south across the permanent magnet. Okay? And we also know we've got a current running through this wire from positive to negative. Now when we've got that current flowing through there, we can use Fleming's right hand rule to tell us which way that, uh, what we know, to show us that there's going to be a magnetic field around there. So with the right hand rule, put your hand like a fist with your fingers like that. And if I put that around my wire, pointing my thumb positive to negative, okay, I can see my fingers are going that way. So I'm getting a magnetic field around my wire and it's going that way around. Okay, so we don't need to include that bit, that's just to explain why this is happening. So those two magnetic fields are now in place around each other. Now that is going to cause them to interact with each other. Okay, and then we use Fleming's left hand rule to show us which way the wire is going to jump. Is it going to go up or down? So we use first finger field pointing from north to south, second finger current positive to negative, and then stick your thumb up or down, and we can see this wire is going to go up. Okay, this wire is going to jump up out of the page. Right. So bringing that back to our answer then. Uh, so bringing that back to our answer we're going to talk about the two fields and what they're going to do. So we'd say the permanent field, there is a permanent magnetic field north to south. So that's north to south. Okay. There's an induced magnetic field. Around the wire. and we know they are going to interact causing movement. So for your first like, little paragraph of this, you talk about those three things. So you say there's an interaction between the uh, wire and the magnet because there's a permanent magnetic field from north to south, um, there's an induced magnetic field around each side of the wire, and they will interact causing a movement. Okay, so once we've done that, we want to then, so that would be a perfect answer to explaining why a wire moves in a magnetic field at all. But then we want to talk about what side A and side B are going to do. I've labelled those for you, you might not get them labelled. If you want to label them, you can, or you could just talk about the side closest to the North Pole and the South Pole. So, side A, if we look at what this is doing, Magnetic field going north to south. My current is going that way, so that means my wire is going to jump down on this side. Okay, so that wire on that side is going to be moving down. So side A will move down, and you would explain that by saying due to Fleming's left hand rule. Side B, do that again, north to south, positive, uh, so the direction of the current, and that one is going to move up. It's going to move up due to Fleming's left hand rule. Okay, so that explains why they're going the way they are. Then, 
we've got the last bit of this question saying why is it able to spin constantly? So why is it not just going up and then when the forces get to the top just stopping? So that is due to the split ring commutator here. Okay. So due to the split ring, every time this flips round the current is reversed. So that means the current on side A is always going in that direction and the current on side B always comes in this direction. Okay. So current flips every 180 degrees. So it's the same on each always the same on each side. but same on A and B and that means oh, move up a little bit. So that means the force will always be the same direction so just going through the whole thing just summarising it now so you would talk about first off so there is an interaction between the coil and permanent magnet because there's a permanent magnetic field from north to south, there's an induced magnetic field around the wire and they interact causing uh, movement. Then you would go on to say that side A will be moving down due to Fleming's left hand rule, side B will be moving up due to Fleming's left hand rule and then explain and then finish that sentence the split ring commutator flips the current every 180 degrees so it is always going in the same direction on side A and side B, which means the force is always pushing in the same direction. So that will get you any marks that you would want on this uh, DC motor question.